Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain one very interesting problem based on Stokes theorem. If you observe the question, here we have been given with function f and we need to find surface integration of curl of function as well as we need to find line integration of function. See, as per Stokes theorem, both of these values that should be equal. But as if you want to calculate any one of these parameter, then you should prefer this calculation. The reason is line integration of function, that calculation is taking bit more efforts. Easier calculation is there with surface integration of curl of function. I'll solve both of this calculation and I'll prove both of these values are equal as per Stokes theorem. So let us identify surface integration of curl of function first. So first of all, you need to identify curl of function that is del cross f. One should know how to identify del cross f that is i j k del by del x del by del y del by del z. Here i coordinate of function that is x square y. Here j coordinate of function that is x plus y square and here k coordinate of function that is x y. So first of all we need to solve this matrix. See here first of all let us find for i coordinate. So what is i coordinate? It is del by del y of x y minus del by del z of x plus y square. Now we will find j coordinate. So with matrix minus j that will be there with us and into del by del x of x y minus del by del z of x square y. Now we will solve kth coordinate. So plus k that you need to solve now. Here see del by del x of x plus y square is there minus here we have del by del y of x square y. Now we need to solve this first. So here if you observe ith coordinate. So here see x is constant del y by del y that is 1. So i into x is there with us and here with respect to z we have nothing. So this partial differentiation is 0. If you observe j coordinate. So here we have del x by del x and y is constant. So here minus j into y is there with us. With respect to z we have nothing. So this is 0 and with respect to kth coordinate. See here x plus y square that we need to have it with partial differentiation with respect to x. So this will be 1 only and here if you observe x square is constant and del y by del y that is 1 so minus x square so this is what del cross f function that we have now now with this we need to have surface integration right so for surface integration first of all you need to understand what is surface over here along with the direction so with this surface with this surface we have variation with x and y Right, with this surface we have variation with x and y. So this surface is dx dy and direction of this surface that is perpendicular to this surface. Perpendicular to this surface is in z direction means it is there in k direction. Right, so here we have x that is varying from 0 to 3. Here we have y that is varying from 0 to 2. Right. And now we need to have surface integration of this curl of function, right. So let us solve it. Surface integration that is having double integration and here dot multiplication of curl of function with surface. So here surface is having k coordinate, right. Other coordinates are not there. So dot multiplication of this curl of function and surface that is having 1 minus x square into dx dy only. Right. So here 1 minus x square into dx dy that is there with us where 
x is ranging from 0 to 3 and y is ranging from 0 to 2. If you observe, see here with dot multiplication, with surface we have only k coordinate. So, dot multiplication is having this coordinate only. So, 1 minus x square into dx dy that is there with us. Right. Now, simply we need to integrate this. So, here see there is no dependency of this parameter with each other. So, directly one can have this x minus x cube by 3 of integration with respect to x where limit is there from 0 to 3 and there is nothing with respect to y. So, y that is varying from 0 to 2. If you place x is equals to 3, then you will be having 3 minus 27 by 3 means 9 and here we have 2 only, right. So, minus 6 into 2 that is minus 12. So, surface integration of curl of function that is minus 12 over here, right. So, this answer that is minus 12 over here, right. Now, I will solve line integration of function, right. And that calculation is a bit tedious that I told you. The reason is we need to integrate these four different lines, right. So, first of all, I will solve this calculation for this first line that is this line right so first of all you need to understand what is dl see dl is dx into i direction plus dy into j direction plus dz into k direction this is what one should know right but if you observe this line first line so that is having variation with respect to x only, right. So, for this particular case, here we have dl that is dx into i direction only, where x is ranging from 0 to 3, where x is ranging from 0 to 3 and for this line, value of y that is 0. So, here y is equals to 0 for this line, right. Now, we are dealing with to identify line integration of function. So, first of all, we are calculating line integration for this first line, right. So, here you need to be careful when you solve this. See, we need to find f dl and that we are dealing with to find it for first line over here. So, here if you have dot multiplication of this dl with f, then here we have i coordinate only. So, this dot multiplication that is resulting into x square y into dx only, right. It is resulting into x square y into dx only where x is ranging from 0 to 3. But if you observe here y is 0, if you observe here y is 0, as y is 0, this calculation will be 0, right. So, we don't need to calculate further. So, for first line, for this line, this line integration is 0. Now, we will be solving it for this line that is line number 2. So, now we will be solving this for line number 2. Now, for line number 2, we need to understand what is this line. So, if you observe this line, so that is having variation with respect to y axis only, right. So, this line that is dy into j direction, right. And with this line, with this line, this y that is ranging from 0 to 2. This y that is ranging from 0 to 2. And with this line, this x is equals to 3. With this line, this x is equals to 3. Right. That is what one can identify. Now, we need to apply that with line integration calculation. So, now we will be solving line integration for second line with this function. Now here, see f dot dl that we need to do. So here dl is there in j direction. So f dot dl that is having j component only. So that j component that is x plus y square, right. And dy is there with us, right. And here y is ranging from 0 to 2. So just apply limit. And we need to integrate this. So, here x is 3, right, here x is 3 and 
here into y that will be integration plus y square integration is y cube by 3 and we need to place limit from 0 to 2. So if you place 0 that will be resulting into 0 so you need to place 2 on the so 3 into 2 6 plus 8 by 3 6 plus 8 by 3 so this is 26 by 3. So second line integration that is 26 by 3 that we have right now we will be solving same thing for this third line now so here we have third line and for third line we need to identify what is dl so as i have told you dl that we need to take with respect to change only change is happening in x direction only so here we have dx into i direction and one should know what is the range so x belongs to 3 to 0 see x is ranging from 3 to 0 right so x belongs to 3 to 0 and here if you observe y so that is 2 so here y is equals to 2 right now we need to solve this with line integration of function for third line so here if you do dot multiplication of dl with function so we have i coordinate only with dl so dot multiplication is having x square y component only right here x is ranging from 3 to 0 3 to 0 and y is equals to 2 right so here y is equals to 2 that i am taking out and x square integration is x cube by 3 limit is there from 3 to 0 if you apply this limit then you will be getting 0 minus 27 by 3 means it is minus 9 so minus 9 into 2 that is minus 18 right that is how one can identify third lines integration now we need to repeat this for this fourth line so with fourth line again we need to identify what is dl so this fourth line that is varying with respect to y axis so that is dy into j direction where y is ranging from y is ranging from 2 to 0 y is ranging from 2 to 0 and here we have x that is 0 here we have x that is 0 so x is 0 over here right now again we need to repeat this calculation for line integration of function where if you observe we have only j component with dl so j component that is x plus y square so here x plus y square is there with us and we need to place limit of y that is ranging from 2 to 0 where x is equals to 0 if x is 0 then y square integration that we need to do that is y cube by 3 limit is there from 2 to 0 means it is 0 minus 8 by 3 means minus 8 by 3 so we have now line integration for all four lines right so we will have to identify final solution so final solution that is algebraic sum of all those calculation minus 8 by 3 minus 18 then the plus 26 by 3 and 0 so plus 26 by 3 and 0 now you need to calculate this so 26 by 3 minus 8 by 3 that is 18 by 3 means minus 6 minus uh, plus 6 and plus 6 minus 18 means minus 12 so if you observe minus 12 answer so that is same as the calculation which was there with curl of function right so both are equal so that is how one can solve this but if you observe line integration calculation so there is a need of calculation four times so it takes a bit more time so usually what i do is i prefer this conversion of surface integration into line integration using stocks theorem that is better idea to have a solution i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that i'd like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video